This video will show you how to format a block quote in your research paper. A block quote is needed when your quotation takes up uh, more than four lines of text in your paper. For this assignment, for your research paper, you may only have one block quote in the paper. And that block quote cannot be longer than eight lines of text once it's formatted. Anything longer than that should be paraphrased rather than quoted. The formatting for a block quote according to the Modern Language Association, MLA, is different from an average quote in a research paper. The first thing you should note is that you introduce a block quote with a colon. And you can see that on this paper right here. So something um, introducing the quote, letting the reader know who said it, what it's regarding, what it illustrates, set up the quote, introduce it using a colon. All right, then go ahead and hit return and type the quotation. And once you've typed the entire quotation, select it. And then in alignment, which you may not see in your toolbar up here at the top until you click on more, in alignment, you see this little button right here, increase indent. It's got an arrow pushing things over to the right. Simply click that, and now your block quote is appropriately formatted. One other thing to note, in a block quote, rather than the period coming after the citation, it comes before. So that also is different than a regular quote in your research paper. Most quotations, you have the parenthetical citation and the period follows it. But in a block quote, the period comes before the citation. That's it.